how extensive the brutality was in fact. Take us through those events. It was a, indeed a, a long and brutal period, uh, which uh, all focus cir circled around the conquest of the uh, isolated city of, um, of Srebrenica by the troops of the uh, Bosnian Serbs. And the conquest itself actually went off without a whole great, without a great deal of um, violence against civilians. But then after it was over, um, starting on about the 11th of uh, July, uh, then began the slaughter of civilians, very systematic and very uh, violent uh, uh, series of, uh, of killings in a number of different places around the Srebrenica area. Uh, and uh, of course, that uh, those uh, bodies were buried in the in the immediate region of Sarajevo, and then um, actually, including after the war, many of them were dug up and reburied in secondary and tertiary sites. Which is uh, those are the bodies that are being found each year now in smaller numbers and uh, actually uh, buried uh, in the in the large. Uh, uh, cemetery there at uh, at Potichari. Right. Um, Nanya, now 25 years on, what lessons have been learned? Well, I would like to be able to say that a great deal has been learned, and uh, unfortunately, I really can't. Um, I, I very much uh, regret that uh, although this uh, these events are commemorated by world leaders and tens of thousands of people who gather at the site um, that uh, you really can't see much of an impact that this has had on the, let's say, general international disposition toward genocide. Uh, and um, the other fa 